Aloha, how's it? On February 22nd, 2013, Company 2 received an alarm of a hunter along with his three dogs trapped and stranded on this Io outcrop surrounded by torrents of rapids and swift water. Upon arrival of this scene, Company 2 located the lone hunter and his three dogs on this Io outcrop that was approximately uh, 20 by 15 feet in size. Also on this outcrop was a lone tree which the hunter already began to climb in hopes of uh, seeking higher grounds. Now the nearest riverbank to this outcrop was approximately uh, 40 feet and a flash flood warning was issued four hours prior to our arrival. That kind of made time and essence in this situation. The first priority was to get a flotation device as well as a helmet to the hunter for safety in the event of him being swept off the aisle by a flash flood. After several attempts, Company 2 was able to toss a swift water throw bag to the hunter. The hunter was then instructed to secure the end of the throw bag to the lone tree on the aisle. With the line secured, Company 2 was able to ferry a swift water life jacket as well as a helmet to the hunter. Company 2 then scaled the riverbanks upstream of the hunter to locate a tree as an anchor point for their tagline rescue system rigging. With the anchor point secured, Company 2 was able to attach a stabilization line as well as a cinch line to secure to the hunter's swift water life jacket. With all lines in place, Company 2 began hauling the hunter through the rapids and swift water to safety. The hunter's father, who was also unseen at the river banks, removed his shirt and prepared himself to jump into the swift water in the event that Company 2's rigging had failed. Fortunately for everyone involved, and also due to the modernized equipment and diligent training, Company 2 was able to transverse the hunter to safety at the river's banks. Once safely at the river's banks, one of the hunter's dogs jumped into the rapids in an attempt to follow his master. That dog was swept away and his fate is unknown. Despite pleas by the hunter and his family members, an attempt to save the other two dogs was aborted given the risk analysis of a human life versus that of a dog. To today, the fate of the other two dogs is still unknown. Fortunately for everyone involved, and also due to the modernized equipment that was received through the Sayer Foundation, Company 2 was able to traverse the hunter to safety at the riverbanks. Without the donated equipment and training that was provided through the Foundation, the outcome definitely could have been met with a different fate. Given the inherited risk, the adverse weather and river conditions, as well as an incident that is rare in occurrence, I nominate FEO Tad Fujii, FRS Justin Neeson, FRS Edward McClellan, and FRS Adam Rand for the Daniel Sayer Memorial Foundation Award their professionalism in going above and beyond the call of duty at a moment's notice is just a byproduct of their exemplary character and temperament. Thank you.